Hey everybody, as most of you probably know by now, the Xair Edit app for iPad was broken with the update to iOS 16. Now, I've given you a free workaround using a computer in VNC, so be sure to watch that video if you haven't already. And as we know, Behringer is working on a replacement app for the old one. But in all honesty, as someone who's part of the beta test group, it's going to be ages before we see a final version. As of the recording of this video, we've only seen a single beta release that was fraught with bugs. Now, I mean, you're going to expect bugs in a brand new release of a brand new app. That's to be expected. But... Even still, we're a couple of weeks off from the next release, and even that release is going to be far and away from a final product. So the real alternative to the old app is Mixing Station. And I get why some of you don't like it. At first glance, it's very different from what you're used to. I mean, they ask you for your choices for layout when you connect. Say what? Anyway, the focus of this video is for those of you who are brand new and your main question is how the hell do I get my master fader on the same page as my channel strips? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Let's go. So we're gonna have a quick look at Mixing Station. I don't have anything open. I just want you to see me open it so you're clear I'm not doing anything crazy. Um, this is, I'm gonna choose XM Air and this is the IP address of my mixer, hit connect, and it will do its synchronization with my mixer. Now this is a pretty standard default layout. Yours might look a little different, that's okay. It doesn't matter, because here's where the important part lies. Any button on this side, can be edited and you see that they have three small dots so an ellipses anything with an ellipses indicates you can hold the button for additional um, additional commands and parameters so my top one here is channel I'm gonna hold channel this opens up um, a selection screen up here we can actually select the channel name and we can rename it if we want to so I'm gonna call this fun times because why not? This is fun times. That aside, here's the important part. Right now, we're showing 16 channels and no master fader. So I can actually start deselecting things if I want, or I could add stuff. And you see down here, things show up or disappear based on what I've selected. Once we have a few things selected, so I'm going to select my first eight channels and I'm going to select my main fader. And now I can actually drag these into any order I want. Right now, if I go to my other screen, you're going to see my first eight channels and a master fader on the right. If for some reason you like your master fader on the left, you can do that. Let's have a look. So here's our master fader. You'll actually see it on my computer screen. I have the old PC app open so you can see stuff happen. So there's the master. And then my first eight faders. So let's go back in real quick. Sorry, let's go back into the button. And then I'm going to drag my master fader to the right, go back to the layout. And there you can see my master is now at the right hand side. So that's the long and the short of it. That's how you get a master fader on screen next to your other channel strips. Now you can do this to any button that has an ellipses on it. So you could have your first eight faders here you could go here where your your effects returns are you could add a master fader there as well if you like to have a master fader on each screen you go in select the master fader drag it to the position you want and boom there it is next to your effect faders so that's how you add it to any button that has an ellipses you can get really intricate and start laying out things the way you want in really fine detail, but this is just a really quick um, tutorial on how to get your master fader on screen with your other faders. Now, here's another important part. If you want to save this layout, you're going to press your cog and then you're going to press the folder button in the top right button or top right corner. I'm sorry. Here you can see I've got one already named default. Generally, there's nothing here if you haven't saved anything. So what I did was I went in ahead of time and that default layout that you saw, I actually saved it as a default. To save something, you just press the button. So now I've altered that default to only be my first eight faders and my master. So now if I hit plus, 
it's going to ask me to give it a name. So I'm going to call this fun times and I'm going to hit OK and it gets added there. So let's quickly go back and just have a look. You can see that I've got my oops under my fun times button. I've got my first eight faders and my master. If I go back in here and I go to the default and hit load, it'll ask me if I want to. Yes, I do go back to the main screen and you can see it's gone back to the default with the first 16 channels and no master fader. Go back into the cog, into the folder, go to fun times, hit load. Yes. Back to the main screen and there's my new updated look. That's how you do it. So there you go. That is your first lesson on how to manipulate things in mixing station and more importantly, get your master bus right where you need it. I will be doing more videos on mixing station. So if there's something you really need to know how it functions or where to find it or, or how to make it happen, please let me know in the comments and I'll try to make a video about specifically what you want to see. Anyway, here we are at the end of another successful tutorial. If you found this interesting or educational, entertaining, any of those three things, be sure to like and share and subscribe. You know, all the normal stuff. You can check us out on Patreon. There'll be other videos linked here that you should watch. And until next time, thanks for watching here on Quick and Easy Quickies.